It's spinning. I think I'm live though. I think I am. Let's see. Okay. I am. I am. Okay, let's turn this. I am. Turn that down. Got it. Now, how do I do a live stream? Hey, you guys, I'm just getting set up, doing live. So I want to go get a chat box. Hang on a minute. Let me navigate this. Got it. I got a chat box now. Yes. And mute. There we go. Okay, I'm doing this live once again so that I don't mess around for hours editing, like being all vain and editing. Um, so we're going to do thrifting for resale, the haul review of the last few places that I've been. I think we've done three thrift with me videos and two of them, I only picked up a few things. So I thought, well, I'll just save it all together. So I'm going to do that today. So I can continue listing. I had a good listing day yesterday. I listed quite a few things, um, glassware, and one of them sold like within five minutes. So that's cool. Oh, this. Oh, darn it. It's all wrapped up. I don't know if you guys remember that butter crock. Yeah. So I got $20 for that real easy. And then, who was it? Two thrift with me back. Hi, Alexis. Two thrift with me back. I got these Odegari. Um, they look like Chokin and people usually like, no Chokin, but Chokin is so pretty, but no, these were Odegari. Remember I bought two of them. If you follow me, they are marked and I figured they would do good because of the theme. And so this one sold last night too. So that's pretty cool. I'm doing it set up like this so that I can slide into a Q and a, if anybody needs any help, um, with some reselling questions or with eBay, because again, I am an eBay, I'm a volunteer eBay seller diversity advocate. This is my second year and this will be my last year. So uh, we just volunteer and we promise to help, you know, onboard new sellers or sellers that want to like, that need some help. And, um, if I, if like, if we don't mesh, if we don't have rapport, like you're not doing things like I'm a thrifty reseller, right? So maybe you are doing liquidation or maybe you want to do something else. If not, I will guide you to who I think you're a good match to um, help you. Okay. So that's why I'm trying this setup. I don't know if I'm going to love it. I don't know if you guys are either because I'm going to have to move around a lot because I can't really reach the camera to like see to like, let me see. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. That's not too bad. Right. I use the Logitech um, 920C, which is a popular YouTube uh, webcam. Unfortunately, it has like a wide angle, right? So I might get another one for bl blogging more close up. Um, I might do that. We'll see. We'll see if I do if I do it this way a lot, but maybe especially for the Q and A's. Okay, let me see. Hi, Hugo and Tiffany. Hi, Audra. Yes, I'm doing it live. I took your suggestion. Thanks. Thanks for the chat this morning on the comments of that last video. Um, I always love hearing from you. You're so smart. If you guys aren't coming back through some of your favorite YouTubers and like reading through the comments again, like you're missing a lot. I do that like with. Um, a lot of my favorite people that I watch, I'll come back through maybe the next day even and kind of read because 
um, you just learn so much from the people in the side chat. All right, so let's get started with this. And for those of you watching later, if you're new to my channel, let me do this real quick, you guys. I am Yvonne. I go by Yvonne Thrifty Rich for fun on all the platforms. Um, in my YouTube banner are my links. Also in video descriptions are some of my links. I sell on eBay, Poshmark. Etsy's coming along. It hasn't been revealed yet, but that's coming along. I'm getting some help with that. And um, I'm a thrifty reseller, mostly thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, clearance racks. And I do this part-time for fun. I have several streams of income and I do them all part-time just because I'm kind of spoiling myself at my age. Um, I've worked all my adult life. I'm kind of spoiling myself, if you want to say it like that. And I don't do any one thing full time. That way, if something's taking a dive, hopefully this one over here is coming up. And plus, it's just more fun. I'm sorry. It's just more fun. <laughs> Anyways, I do different kinds of videos. I keep them all in separate playlists. Some people like thrifting with me. Some people like um, just, you know, the thrift haul review. Some people just want what's sold. I've said this before, just what's sold. No frills. Show me the money. <laughs> okay. Then I do some channel shows and um, sometimes I'm on other people's channel. As a matter of fact, sell quick, ship quick in the chat. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, Hugo and Tiffany, they're relatively new, but they have caught on like that. They're doing great. Their channel is coming along nicely too. If you click on people's pictures, I believe it is, depending on whether you're on the phone or computer, it'll take you, you can open in another window to go to their channel, to subscribe, things like that. If you open it in another window, you don't have to leave if you're on the PC. Anyways, so quick, ship quick. They are, sometimes we do the Generation 1099 show together with Julie Kasashik and Kenneth Ivy Flipping Daily. We do it when we can. We're all busy, but that's a great group. If you've never watched it, we've got four of them down in my playlist. And I think we did two of them over on Hugo and Tiffany's channel. I think they hosted it. Anyways, okay, so let's get started. Stuff is everywhere. Do you guys see some good stuff over here? You probably see some stuff you recognize, right? The cow. <laughs> All right. So should I start over there? Ah, some people saw a peek of this. I didn't really show it, but some people saw a peek and they're like, I saw that. You guys, I love this. I don't think this is too terribly vintage, but it's from designed exclusively for collections, etc. Look how cute this little resin cat is. Oh my gosh, it's just a wall plaque. I don't know. See, that's kind of a vintage label. So cute with the 3D. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't even know what to say about this. This thing is perfect. I want to come up close again. Can you guys see the details? Because like it almost makes it like look furry. This is awesome. I might look up that company and see more about them. Um, for all I know, this could have been made last week, but I don't think so. I think it's somewhat vintage. I don't know what I'm going to put it up for. I haven't found one like it yet. And it's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's put that down where it's safe. This is cute, right? Who made this? An original something Made in USA, so most likely vintage. New designs. This was $349 if I paid full price. Starting not to be able to remember. Look at this, you guys. It's just a little fun acrylic abstract rooster. So you know someone's going to want that too, right? It's so cute. I hope I'm letting you guys see the cuteness of this. Isn't that adorable? Again, you guys, it takes me... It's just me. I haven't hired anybody to help with anything. So sometimes my daughter will help me, one of my one of my daughters. But it takes me a while to get stuff listed. So if you see something that you just have to have, like hit me up, not on eBay, of course. Hit me up on Facebook, Instant Messenger, DM, however you, whatever you use to communicate. And um, say, hey, I want that. And we'll meet in the middle somewhere. Let me make a little bit of money, but we'll meet in the middle. Because I don't have to pay fees or anything. And I can still get a shipping discount through PayPal. Okay? Um, and if it's something super heavy, I'm not going to say this out loud. We'll run it through Poshmark, okay? <laughs> Shh. 
Okay, so that's adorable. I didn't say that out loud. Kitty cats, another little like iceberg. Um, this was $1.99. Some of you might have saw me grab this. Another little iceberg like etched glass chunk. I'm just fascinated by these. They're not the best quality, the ones I've been picking up lately. The only one that was a really good quality with blood crystals, you know, that clarity was um, a Baccarat dog. And I sold it in a couple of weeks for $50 or $60. It was clearly marked. These are typically Viking. The ship that I got last week was um, Nibro. That was new to me, Nibro. I just listed it yesterday. I don't know who made this one yet. It's only $1.99 and the theme is going to be very helpful. Okay, so there's that. Probably put that up. I usually put those up, you know, when they're just generic like that or Viking for under 20, somewhere around 15 to 20. Uh, <laughs> this is by Emerald. It says, bam. You know, that's one of his signature lines, bam. Um, just a little seasoning dish or it's probably too big for a salt cellar, right? Or an open salt, even though the trend now is, you know, to have gourmet seasonings out. So, but this is probably a little, little big for that. Anyway, some of the Emerald, you know, that guy that cooks on TV, some of his stuff sells well. This one wasn't very much 99 cents. It wasn't priced. She just gave it to me for 99 cents. But one of our daughters loves to cook. And for ever since, I don't know, five or six years, I said, you need to have a YouTube channel with your cooking. She has such a cute personality. But anyways, one time I did film her and she made us like this big old stalk of broccoli that she grew. I didn't even know it came like that, like still on the stalk, like this big. And she put it on the grill and she made all this great gourmet food. And I was filming her. And at the end, she went, bam, real cute with her little frilly vintage, um, apron and so i thought i'm gonna i'm gonna give this to mary so i don't know what it's worth it's i'm sure it has a little bit of resale value right if you like emerald okay that's personal information oh okay is it Mikasa? wait a minute let me check on this hi noel noel's here i see just finished my shipping good job had a good weekend good I can go either way right now with eBay, right? <laughs> so good job. I don't know if I missed anything else. It's probably for garlic, Audra says. Oh, okay. It's a little bigger, huh? I figured, you know, little, um, you know how some people, when they cook, I'm not a big cook, you guys. I've been mostly vegetarian and vegan. I just went back to vegan last week, as a matter of fact. So like I, I make things, but not a lot of cooking. Like I put things together. Anyways. Um, but when I watched some cooking shows before, like they'll have all these little tiny like pyrexy bowls where they have stuff pre-cut set out. I don't know. Okay. Mikasa. This one still has the label is why I'm feeling pretty good about this. But I like that optical effect. It's a picture frame. You know, this brand, we never know if it's got a good resale value. Some of their stuff does, right? But I liked this optic effect. Isn't that cool? So that can cover, I think, a couple different like styles of decorating. You could even maybe squeeze this in to a mid-century modern um, decor. Mikasa Japan, that's all it says. So that's pretty cool, right? You want to see it again? It probably weighs about three pounds. Cool, huh? I'm trying to get more raw vegan every day. It could be challenging though. It just keep trying to move forward. Yeah. Um, my man is straight up Pennsylvania farm boy. He ended up here because after he graduated, he joined the air force. And so they sent him here to Colorado over there. What was then NORAD, right? In, in Cheyenne mountain, the mountain post, the one that's in the mountain, like where they're going to take some not us. We don't get to go. <laughs> We're important VIP people. That's one of the places they're going to be hidden, I believe, in that underground bunker. Anyway, so he worked there. Oh, my gosh. When he was 
uh, 17 to whatever. And so he just liked it here. He stayed. A lot of military people do that when they come to this area. We have a lot of military stuff and we have something very important, which is the Air Force Academy. Besides an Air Force base, we have the Air Force Academy. It's like West Point, so to speak, for the Air Force. So I can see the chapel like out my window here on the second floor. Where the heck was I going with that? Oh, so he's meat and potatoes. So, you know, when we when we first got together, I kind of started little by little. I'm like, oh, you know, like, let me have a bite of that filet mignon. Yeah, you know, or I make him like sirloin burgers. You know, I buy him the good stuff and it's so delicious. I'm not going to lie. Meat's delicious. I don't do this for a moral reason at all. Strictly health. My body's saying it's time. That's all that's going on. Anyways, one of my stumbling blocks was also cheese, but they've made some improvements. I actually found some cheeses that are, aren't bad in a fake cream cheese, which you just cannot tell the difference. Um, if you want, I'll show you guys. I'll show you that sometime or Audra, I'll tell you the name, but it's not that hard. Actually, it's so funny. I'm, you know what? We better make this another video. There's something about the reseller community. They just want to talk about reselling, okay? So I better make this a different kind of video, chit-chatting about, like, lifestyle stuff, okay? So we'll make that another video. Uh, I've been in the resale community a long time, and even though it's grown, and it now includes just some, like, enthusiasts and some thrifters and some people that like vintage or whatever, still, for the most part, some of them are hardcore, and they'll leave you comments like, get to the point, <laughs> So that's why, that's another reason why I put things in different playlists for, I'm like, you don't like this type? Get down there and watch the one you do like. Anyways, moving on. Oh gosh, now I can't remember what was for sale and what wasn't. Cause you know, I tend to go on half price day and I usually take a magic marker to mark through it so I can remember. This is a little bit of nostalgia history. This is an ashtray. So for one, it's a vintage ashtray. Let me see if you're seeing it. Yeah. Um, and it's the Denver Post. Newspapers are struggling. It's the Denver Post, and it was signed by Palmer Hoyt, which is, you know, the big wig. So I think that I may either get to sell this locally or to just people that are in that journalism, old school journalism. It might just be someone's going to buy it. Can we just say that, right? <laughs> someone's going to buy it. I'm saving a little piece of history that someone's going to be glad. Let's do this. I, You guys know I take my Ikea bags and I pack my own stuff. Let me see. Audra, they're holding your thing for some reason. I don't know why. Yes, cheese is probably my hardest struggle. Uh-huh. For one. Okay, back to reselling goals. Yeah. I don't know why it held that, Audra, but it did. Okay. Ta-da! I know, I don't usually buy the really foo-foo-y vintage stuff. Let me come in on this one, you guys. Some of you will remember this. Isn't that beautiful? The reason I said yes on this one, it's a Rosenthal. Rosenthal. Okay? Um... A little bit of gold trim, a little bit of wearing on the gold, the gold metallic like overlay trim, but it's not just a plate or a bowl. This is the serving platter and then some kind of like sugar or, you know, little covered serving dish. That to me means a, probably a, a good resale value. It's hand painted, artist sign down in here, kind of like the way, what is it, Fenton I've learned does. So... The blue on blue is kind of fascinating to me. And they were both half price. So this came in under about $6, right? As it, oh, that's just me being me. As it was sitting in my cart, thank God this is a big ass, big darn piece of art glass. As it was sitting in my cart, people were like, oh, that's so beautiful. To the point where even one lady loved it so much. I'm like, you know what, dear? If I decide not to buy it, I'll come find you and let you have first dibs on it. But I decided to buy it because when that many people just at the thrift store are oohing and on. So I haven't taken the tape off, which is a no-no. On this kind of stuff, you definitely want to get that tape off of there as soon as possible. The longer it lingers, the more possibility for damage you're going to have 
Um, so now, and you want to soak it a little bit. So that way it doesn't ruin, damage the item. So I'm going to do that by this evening. That was bad to... Um, Okay, bye, Hugo Tiffany. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, sorry, just being honest. No intention of dragging anyone down. I don't really know what you're talking about. So I hope everything's okay. <laughs> Spray paint that puppy and it would fit in great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you guys All right, you guys talk amongst yourselves. Let me put this back in here. Anyways, Ignore this and take my advice that I need to take to get that tape off of this kind of stuff ASAP when we bring it home. I will do that it's when we're done, you guys. That was bad. That was very bad. Let's do this before I drop it again. This chunk of art glass, pretty good chunk, probably weighs about two pounds. At first, I thought that just looks like something from Ross or Home Goods. But when I flipped it over, it still had that. And I went, oh, it's probably going to be party light too or something. But you guys, I'll come in, but you won't be able to see this. But I'm going to come in just to make a point. But right, oh my gosh, right in there, it says, um, it's got an artist's name in there. Made in Italy. So I'm like, okay. And I look closer. Antonio Tomorrow Group. So I looked that up and, and this is an artist that does this kind of stuff. So I don't know if this is like, you know, like in clothing when they do a diffusion line, like a cheaper line. So people can have like a name brand thing, um, a name brand item for an affordable price. You know, they'll make it maybe not quite as detailed, maybe not the finest of fabrics. Um, most often you like tar what Target does. Target's notorious for this, like having a one-off collab. Like, what was the last one? The last one wasn't Hunter, but that was a well-known one. You know, they'll do little collabs with limited run of stuff. It'll be cheaper fabric and blah, blah, blah. But so I thought, well, maybe that's what's going on here. I'll still find out. But there's something about this. Antonio Tomorrow. Two M's in there. Okay. Um, It'll be listed up probably by next week if you want to look at it more closely because you're not going to be able to read that. But it's really pretty. Got a smooth pontil, um, that swirly white inside clear. I don't know what to say about that yet. I'm still going to try to figure out exactly what that artist was doing. But some of his stuff is way expensive. So there's that. And if nothing else, I kind of liked it. And you guys know I'm building one of those. I haven't figured out yet. I've got three pieces so far. You guys know I'm working on my own little like vintage glass um, wall somewhere. Shelf unit wall. Hopefully, uh, I'm thinking by the patio door because then the light will come in, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, moving on. Uh, Hager still has the tag. That's awesome, right? Not Royal Hager, just Hager. There's some of you that don't know. H-A-E-G-E-R. So nothing fancy, but hey, cheap enough. What was it? Probably half price too. And uh, it says $2.99. So it was $3 or $1.50. But nice and clean. Nothing's wrong. And, you know, it still has the, t the tag on it. So that's good. This is probably about 15, 15 to 18 dollars, you know, if somebody just really adds to their collection. A lot of people do though. I thought about maybe having a Hager collection because I do like Art Deco. I'm okay with a little bit of Art Nouveau because you can it mixes well with modern pieces. So I thought, you know, that would really be a, a good collection, something for me to collect if I wanted to have something vintage. But I'm just fascinated by the sparkle of glass, by the color. Like, there's just something about it. So I opted to do, to do that. <sighs> um, I bought this. If you watched the thrift with me, you guys know I'm just guessing it's a Fenton piece. Have no clue. I went ahead and paid $5.99. Nothing's underneath it. It just has that Fenton or 
made in Italy something quality to it, okay? I'm showing it, you guys. Just has that quality, hand-painted. I lingered on it to show you guys some details in that thrift with me to get some help with that. So I'll keep searching on this. Google Lens has a little bit of difficulty. It tries really hard, bless its heart, but it has a little bit of difficulty with the fine details. I just feel like this is, you know, this is a good piece. I'm pretty sure. So let me put that where it's safe. <clears throat> A wall pocket sconce. I don't think I showed you guys this. This pottery piece of wall pocket or sconce, it's got a hole for hanging. And it's labeled. And this company, actually, some of their pottery is quite expensive. Dang it, now I can't remember. Shearwater. Yeah, Shearwater. I don't know if you can see that. I'll come in for you guys. There it is. But anytime pottery has a good mark, even though sometimes I'm learning, like, it could have a mark that makes it look like it was a hobby piece or a studio piece, but still, that was a major maker. So it's a little tricky. But I looked this one up, and I'm like, ooh, some of their pottery sells for, I, can't. I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like it was sheer water. Anyways, it'll be up sometime next week if anybody wants to look at it more closely. Nicely glazed. Some of their big pots and stuff went for good money. I'm thinking this is about a $20 piece. Really pretty. Some great stuff over there, too. Um, let's, let's pull some things over. Let's pull a few some things over. Hey, you guys saw me get these for myself, right? See how they're kind of like contrast? Like they're the same company for sure, right? But a little slightly different pattern. And I love these. These are for me and Steve. Really quality, good feel to them. So a couple of you laughed. A couple of you agreed. I don't know. <laughs> this is for Steve. You guys are probably seeing these around. It's like a prescription for coffee. He lives on He's one of those people that live on coffee. So this, Ray Dunn, let me slow down. Ray Dunn. I'm finally in my life finding some Ray Dunn stuff. So I kept the Hello mug for myself and my daughter. She likes the Tiffany blue and I do too. And the resale value on it wasn't much. So I'm like, I'm going to keep one piece of Ray Dunn. The number three canister sold very quickly for 30. I don't know what this is going to sell for, but it was $1.29. So we're going to keep rolling with some Ray Dunn. I don't think this is one of the more expensive rare pieces. What's happening here? Do you like Bob Ross? <laughs> I'll let you guys answer that. Sorry, I don't know much about Fenton. Let's see. Wall pockets, yeah. I always pick up unless damaged. Yeah, I'm learning something about wall pockets. Bye, Hugo, Tiffany. They're probably already gone. They work a lot. They have, they're like me. They do several different things, but they're younger. So <laughs> my friend bought me a Ray Dunn coffee mug that says crazy. Oh, she knows you, huh? Okay. Um. This still has a sticker that says three-piece console set. I tried so hard to find. Let me move that so I don't break it. I tried so hard to find the, um, the other pieces. It has a little bit of a luster on it. So it's probably, what, two candlesticks or something. But still, I went ahead and got it. Maybe somebody still has the other pieces and they broke this. Or maybe this is just good enough for a collection. I don't even know who made it because there's no marking on it. So I thought maybe it was a Hager. So we'll have to find out. Real pretty um, drip glazing and then a nice little luster finish, right? So that's definitely vintage. I think the fact that it still has a tag on it, that will help me identify it and hopefully um, help with the money even though it doesn't have a maker on it. I mean, nothing. I have never, I will not understand that. Yes. I love this. 
Audra's right. This is called um, a Jack in the Pulpit um, stretch vase, right? Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. So I paid $6.99 and I haven't decided yet, you guys, if this is going to be, if I'm going to add this to my little um, bin I have started for my wall. I'm just not sure. Let me come in and see if you guys can see how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. The different blues, cased glass, I believe, with the white inside. No maker's mark. The ponto is somewhat smooth. So I don't know if this is new, you know, like a repop, a copy. I don't know, but it's still beautiful. And so the first time I found the Jack in the pulpit type. <clears throat> so I probably, if I do sell it, I'll probably, without it being like a special maker, I'll probably put it around 30-ish, okay? But I might add this to the wall, right? <laughs> I want to put this someplace safe, you guys. <laughs> safe for me. <laughs> okay. Let's bring a couple more things over. <laughs> you guys... Y'all saw me buy this, right? The Moo Cow. Um, yeah, I paid $5.99, so. It has a little sensor right there. Oops, I have to quit. No, it's not going to shut up. Okay. Because <laughs> it has a sensor right there, and so probably weighs about, it's like a resin, but it's got mechanics in it. Um, She or he, I don't know how you tell. Probably weighs about four or five pounds. So it's somewhat sturdy. Um, and then with that sensor, you know, anytime it, it's a motion sensor, then she'll do that sound. But yeah, Noel, I thought you might like this. So I have it. Someone has one of these. It's by Bits and Pieces, apparently, is the brand. They have one on auction that I'm watching for 75. That's probably a bit optimistic. I don't know. I'm watching that auction to see what happens. And then um, I'll decide, do I want to keep this? I don't do country stuff, but this one's kind of epic, right? So, and she could be, a, she or he, like, how do you tell? I don't know. This is a dairy cow? Just the cows that we eat? Well, not me anymore, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I just think it's really nice. Nicely done. And it's fun. It can be a security device, right? <laughs> so... As a matter of fact, I let her, we'll say her because I put a bow on her for my for the thumbnail of that video. I let her be the thumbnail instead of me. <laughs> so I paid $5.99. We'll see what happens to that auction one or if I can find something else out about bits and pieces. This come off of something, I don't know what, but it's a nice pewter piece. $349. It's a nice pewter piece type with the, you know, how some of them do the etching to where the shininess shows through. Very nicely detailed, right? Um, I'm going to use this for something. I don't know what. I just really like it. I've seen a lot of these in gold, but I wanted something in silver. So this is going to be somewhere, some kind of yard art in the backyard, not the front yard because I don't want it to come up missing. Not that I live in a bad neighborhood, but whatever. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do with this nice pewter piece. I'm going to upcycle this, okay? But don't, wouldn't you agree $349 is a decent deal? Look at the detail. Is that coming through? Really nice. So that's for me. Glow in the dark snowflake stick ons, 99 cents. They just window claims that glow in the dark. There's something over here, some kind of lighting. Okay. This, I was excited about this, 99 cents. Do you guys, they had it with like the glassware, but you know what this is? You know, like your hallway lights. I don't, depending on how old your house is. If it's older, you for sure know what this is. Like you unscrew the three screws. <laughs> All right, Noel. I think that. Okay, I think boobies is okay. 
Yes. Okay. There you go. Um, it, it held that because of the word. Um, YouTube just went over to COPPA or COPPA, real hardcore. We all had to, if, when you go to make another video, you'll see, Noel, you've got to distinguish your channel. Is it kid friendly or not? So we got to watch some of our P's and Q's. I think I already said one curse word, but I think that's okay. I've already added to my blocked list, like the really bad, you know, disgusting, like, you know, trailer trash, ghetto talk. I've already added all those so they can't even go through. Yes. Light bulb cover. Isn't that fantastic? I'm pretty sure that's vintage, right? With the gold and the frosted. Oh, I love this. I think I can get good money for this. I haven't investigated it yet, Audra, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get good money for this. If I even let it go. Hang on. This light's trying to blink. I don't know why. Okay. Man, I love this. But someone who's doing a restoration project or something, but this is so Art Deco, um, Hollywood Regency. Even though I don't like gold, I might even use this. It's just so darn cool. 99 cents. That's one thing I love about the thrift stores is mostly younger people, right? Working it and pricing. And mostly... I'm talking about Goodwills, not little charity shops. And um, sometimes I find in my area, the things that they are marking up at a higher price tend to be like mall brand clothing. And I don't know, just, but like the really cool vintage stuff or high, high end designer stuff, they don't always recognize that. Especially the vintage stuff, if it's a younger person person pricing, I, I feel like they tend to be like, oh, this is grandma stuff. For instance, I hate to even say it out loud. I'm not going to. <laughs> but there's a certain brand that's high end. If you do clothing, you know what it is. It's the Santana knit label. And they'll always just price it real cheap and throw it in with the grandma -y stuff. And I pick it up and make good money on it. That's why I don't want to say it out loud. Anyways, love this. I'm excited about this. I'll get back to you guys on that, on what happens to that, because I'm really interested to see, find out more about that. I'm hoping it's not a repop. I don't think it is. I don't think they do that. Okay. Thank goodness they don't know everything, right? Let's see. <laughs> Yes, vintage. Are you keeping that too? I know. Well, that's why I had to name my channel Making Money and Saving Money. <laughs> so, okay. I picked this up for myself. You know why? It's like a, I don't know if this is coming through, but it's super neon pink. It's almost like it's plugged in. It's so cool. Um, there's certain times I'm going to use this with my purse to put like phone and stuff in that way. If I accidentally like leave it on a counter or something, I'll notice it because I tend to use a lot of black. No, this I will notice. That's what's happening there. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes I look at boxes to see if they're cheap enough because I like to recycle them to send like a higher end item, like to use it for the packing. So I was checking this one. How much was it? Um, half price, seven fifty. dollars because I went ahead and did it because it's not just the box. This is by Mud Pie. It says Mud Pie on it, and it says it there. And inside, oh, my gosh, look at you, is a cute little bank, Mud Pie 2001, little retro vibe, but it's not. Let me let, me let this focus. She is called, oh, darn it, Chatty Kathy, I believe. I looked her up. She is called Chatty Kathy Bank, and they have some resale value. There's different themes in the series. So this is an example of even though something is not vintage, it's contemporary. It still has great resale value. Nice little custom-made box. I went to eBay and ordered a bunch of stoppers of different sizes for when I find banks like this. Oh my gosh, we got to stop for a minute. One of my heroes just popped in. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> okay, Ronnie's an OG, one of the first people that I met um, in YouTube world when 
the resellers, there was only a few of us like, you know, watching YouTube and stuff. Ronnie Hart was one of them. I miss those shows, Ronnie, you and Chad and Pete. I know Chad's not feeling well, but I just want you guys to know I miss those shows. I miss your shows. And I hope you and Gretchen are doing fine. Anyways, shout out to Ronnie. If you want to learn how to make money with men's clothing, go follow Ronnie Hart's Picker. Okay. Cute, right? So resale value. Oh, that's the lighting. I know you guys. Yeah, this the only thing with this sitting down setup is this. Anyway, she's adorable, different themes. So you may not always find her with the box. That's why I paid $7.50. Um, she's probably, I think she'll bring me, since I have the box and everything, I think she's going to bring me no less than 30 So I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's what happened there, y'all. Before I get to this local stuff, a few clothing items. Look at this. Yep. All leather. This is going to be for my Wasteland, Renaissance, Scarborough reenactment people. I love buying and reselling stuff for that crowd. So these might need resold, but I paid. How much did I pay? Ah, I don't want to touch the bottom. I haven't cleaned these yet. Okay, I paid $7.50. All leather, thigh high. Larger size, found them in the men's department. Somebody's already customized these with, wow, that feels like real bone too. So last time I bought something like this, I think I sold them for $120, something like this. And they weren't even this tall and epic, okay? So this will be marketed to that crowd. And as soon as the right person with enough money and the right size finds them, they will sell. They might be a little long tail because, you know, there's a size issue. But in that subculture, you know, it's a little smaller, but it's big enough to make money off of. I love that. There's no brand name inside there. Okay. And I bought myself a pair too. <laughs> these are real leather too. Look at these. I'm a tall girl. I like low heels. So in style right now, right? So this will go great with little boho outfits, Western outfits, $7.50. So I always look for myself too. And I bought this beautiful, let me show you this. This is for myself, but it would have resale value, okay? Still new with tags. I paid full price, $16.99. Still new with tags. Resale value on it. It's that beautiful velvet that feels great both ways, right? Not that cheap stuff. And it's stretchy and thick in quality. Plus, when it comes to resale clothing, some of the tricks that I use are you want to pay attention to design. I want to buy things that I know are going to fit a little bit of a range of sizes, okay, and going to be comfortable. So I look at the design. This is great. It stretches, faux wrap, high waist for those of us that have booty belly. That would be me too. Um, just beautiful. So I think I could probably sell this dress for about $50 or $60, regardless that it's not this big brand name. But I think this is going to be my holiday dress. I am tall and it's and it's just like way down to my ankle. So that's great. You guys, and look at that color. But just so you know, those were just some tips of how I choose to buy some of my clothing. See, this would fit a couple range of sizes and it's going to be flattering. Oh, this setup is horrible. And it's going to be figure flattering on someone and comfortable. That's kind of how I approach um, when I buy my clothing. I don't think I would have any problem getting about 50 bucks for this dress if I would if I chose to sell it. Probably going to make this my holiday dress. Seriously. Okay, a few more of the items. This is still new in box. It's not worth the whole lot, you guys. But inside is this little tiny Victrola. It's a repop. Miniature Victrola with a little record and everything. I'm not going to open it up because it actually plays six little songs. I paid $2.49, possibly half price. It's packed in there nicely, okay? Um, there are a couple more for sale. I think mine is in way better condition with even the boxes in better condition. So 
I'm thinking this should be at least 20 buck flip. Okay. Super cute. Just little repop miniatures. Old Victrola. It's cute, right? Okay. And <clears throat> also in the shoe department. Okay. These now these look a little nasty at first glance, right? But hang on. These are halflinger. Is that how you say it? I'm wearing a pair now my husband bought me. $100 house shoes. I don't know why he does that. He does little things like that for me. I complained about house shoes thinking. I'm like, why do we have to wash our house shoes so much? We're clean. Our feet are clean. <laughs> I know. And he said, <laughs> and so he went to looking and found out, you know, there's actually brands that specialize. They make like this special wool house shoes and Halflinger, is that how you say it, is one of them. And so, like, they just don't stink after a while. So, excuse me. I'm going to, these will be worth fixing up. They were just thrown in with the house shoes. $3.99, maybe even half price. They have the name on them. I recognize them because I'm wearing a similar pair. Same color, just minor slip-ons. And I knew how much they cost. They're $100 slippers, but I found them on eBay for $50. My husband was telling me about them. He said, go pick out a pair that you like. And I said, well, hey, you know, I always have to check eBay first for a deal. And I found a brand new in box pair of $100 ones for $50. So there, I recognize these instantly. There's all different kinds. So that's why these kind of rough looking, they look a little rough because they're wool and it attracts things, but I'm going to clean them up because it'll be worth it. I'm pretty sure I'll get about $35 for these because these cost a lot of money. Let me show you the name in case you don't know. That's how you say it. I mean, that's how you spell it. I don't know how you say it. Is it Halflinger? Anyways, if you look those up, very expensive. They make out indoor, outdoor shoes too and like driving mocks and things like that. Very expensive. All right. A couple more things down here. And we are almost done. Okay. I bought this for myself. It's just somebody made this. You guys remember this? 99 cents, right? But look, it's cute. That's going to just be some outside art. That's all. Probably could sell it. I've sold things like this before, and I used the word like kitsch. And surprise, they sold like beachy stuff. Like I sold an ashtray that somebody had done this to. Oops, somebody had done this to. I sold it, and he left me the cutest feedback too. They were from. It went to Florida. They were redecorating, and they just loved it. They they left me the best feedback. Hang on a minute, you guys. Okay, enamel trinket box. This is a parrot. I sold the peacock for $38. It was a name that I can't say, Q-I-F-U. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Anyways, always check these out. This is a different brand. Should probably bring around the same price. Some of them, depending on the size and the theme, and if they have a bunch of those Savorsky crystals on them, they can even bring more, okay? So those are always worth a look. Make sure that everything, like if it's magnetic, make sure that still works. Or if it's a latch, make sure it's not broken, okay? You might miss that. Oh, that was for me. Okay. Oh, you guys remember these? I was pretty excited about this little girl and I was a little sitting on the fence because she's got a little crack. It's just a Yankee candle. Yankee candle stuff could resell though. Some of it can resell. You know, even the party light stuff can, quite frankly, some of it. It just comes and goes, especially like limited edition stuff. But she was $1.99, I thought, for that. And she looks so vintagey, even though it's not. So cute. Igloo, Inuit, Indian, or Eskimo with a seal. I seem to be all about the penguins and the seals this holiday. And then we turned the corner, right? And there's the, what does that one say? Yankee Candle. And there is another one with a different one, different guy. And that one has a penguin. 
This one's in perfect shape. This one's in 98%. So $4 for both of these little votive candle holders with that little vintage look glaze on them. So cute. Got to make a decision once again. Put them up for resale as the pair. I'm pretty sure they would sell. Or do I want to use them for this one holiday? I know. It's bad, isn't it? Those are super cute, though. Um, I haven't decided yet. It'll be next week. Just a Nautilus shell. I picked it for myself. This is real. Someone cut it. It's only 99 cents. A Nautilus shell. Super cute. So I will either use this for some kind of serving thing for a special party or just some kind of decoration for myself. That's super cute. I like stuff like that. Um, this leather mask you guys saw me pick up. This was just last, what, Sunday when we went up to um, Monument. $3.99 for this leather sculpture. There are quite a few different versions, similar but different faces for sale. Prices range. Some people are very ambitious. So <clears throat> this is not like a spe anything special, so to speak. I haven't decided if I'm going to put it up for someone who just likes these and collects them or... Okay, thanks, um, Donnie, thanks, but come on now. Be polite. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm up for a few compliments at my age for sure, but now come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's one thing about going live is um, you, you tend to get, like, some trolls sometimes. Anyways, so I might just put this up for sale for someone who does like these, but <laughs> just mind your banners, Donnie. Um, or I might have fun with it someday and like do something with it myself and see if I can up the value, like upcycle it myself. I haven't decided yet. Sometimes I like to take a break and just like get like really dive deep or lean into some kind of art project. Like it's a therapeutic thing, right? So Oh my gosh, did a, tr a troll actually said sorry? Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. <laughs> oh my God, he actually apologized. Maybe you're not a real troll. Maybe you just forgot you were like in public. Okay, so a couple more things. I love this. You guys saw me get this up in Monument 2 um, art glass. I listed all that other art glass yesterday. Got it all listed up, all those other paperweights. Real proud of that. This one's striated kitty cat. No special maker, but I like that striated, right? I pay $2.99. Um, I, I like it. I love it. But I don't do a lot of the figurals when it comes to my paperweights. I just tend to do the the balls with the um with the um abstract in it. Sorry. Let me see what's going on in here. I know, Tracy. I know. I know, saving money and making money. I don't hardly go to regular stores, so I find out about everything I need at the thrift store. So there's a few pieces I bought for myself, yeah. All right, you guys, help me with this. This one, this is the last piece we're going to talk about, this pottery. Look at this name, in case you didn't watch that. That says Dave Ramsey, and that looks like um, nicely done, stamped it there, right? Super heavy piece. I don't, I don't think this is like Dave Ramsey. Okay, Donnie, now we gave you a chance and you blew it. So you got to go. <laughs> My word. Okay. Shake that off. Um, I don't think Dave Ramsey ever did pottery or sells pottery. He sells his books and his events and things like that. Somebody has another like vase, earthenware on eBay. If you look up Dave Ramsey, um, pottery. And I think, what did, I think they're wanting around $75 for it. So, and I read the description. They didn't seem to have a lot of information about it, about it either, but I may, I may um, message him and see if we can start up a conversation about this. Like, you got to be careful about messaging on eBay because I looked at his store and he specializes in a lot of really nice vintage pieces. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping maybe he can shed some light. But anyways, I'm watching that. So this is kind of an enigma to me. 
I don't know. <laughs> if it for $6, I'm going to give it a try and we're going to find out. So, nice glazed picture. Nice stamp of Dave Ramsey. <laughs> All right. So, I guess that was quite a bit of stuff, huh? Because that was like three hauls. Even though a couple of the places that I went to, I only picked up a few things. I'm trying to be a little pickier. I really am. I'm trying to stick to my over 20. I know I still break it because I just get so sentimental about some things. And since, you know, I have other sources of income too, I don't have to hustle, hustle, hustle so hard. I looked all over for Dave Ramsey pottery. and could, I know. I looked Dave Ramsey artist. Like, I can't even find anything about this Dave Ramsey person. But got some pieces floating around, so all right, that's about it for the haul. Does anybody have any questions or need any help with anything? I'm going to start doing some eBay Q and A's again to fulfill my my pledge as a volunteer um, eBay seller diversity advocate. I think the cows should stay in the room. I like it there; it's super cute. <laughs> I could add it up there with the rest of the stuff, huh? <laughs> It'd be kind of different. I don't normally have anything like that. Yeah, I know that. I know that one, but, you know, that's the same Dave Ramsey that does the money stuff. I mean, what is it called? You know, debt free and all that. Um, it has some syndicated shows. But I don't think he ever, I know he went bankrupt one time and, you know, said they had to hustle is what he claimed. So perhaps, you know, I thought, well, maybe he went into the selling pottery business, you know, to climb out of debt. I don't know, but I couldn't find anything about that. So I've learned so much from you. So thank you. Oh, hi, June. Thank you. I'm really trying to focus on my own channel and to, you know, be helpful now. But, you know, I'm part time and I'm I'm a little more, you know, laid back about it. So and I'm a thrifty reseller. If I ever needed to really hustle and make a lot of money, then, you know, I would start doing like buying wholesale and liquidations and things like that. Get a warehouse, hire people. Um, so if that's something that you're wanting to like go into, you know, I can kind of point you into people who are doing that. Um, I don't have any intentions of doing that if I don't have to, I, I grew up, I did that in the eighties and nineties. That's my background before the internet. That's what we did. We had like nine stores. So now I've got other things going on and with the internet, you know, there's so many possibilities, there's so many ways. So. Bank of America? Really? <laughs> okay, this should be good. We're going to keep an eye on you. Well, you're welcome, June. Let's get rid of a couple people. Who else would like to be a moderator? <laughs> I'm going to add a couple people. Noel, I'm going to add you, okay? How and he together. Yeah, I don't know. Now in that thumbnail for the for the um, thrift with me video, I put a bow on it and pink lips. But you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what those horns mean. So, <laughs> hang on a minute, you guys. Let me make. Let me pick a couple of more moderators. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I hope South Carolina. Hello, Dixie. You are a troll, so I'm going to have to. All right, you guys, I guess we've been live long enough because <laughs> here come the trolls. So we've probably been live long enough. Um, let's see, today is Tuesday. Well, I wonder what would be a good day to schedule these little like um, eBay help Q and A's. Like, I need to I need to think about 
people who are needing help, like kind of what their schedule might be. Should it be in the evening? Because sometimes a lot of new people are still holding down a job too. So I might do them in the evening. I'm not sure. Of course, it's you could still breeze through ones that have been loaded up that some of us do. Like Lindy Glenn, my, my reseller BFF, Lindy Glenn, she does a Q and A's too. And you can still breeze through the ones that are archived and loaded and uh, loaded up and learn things. Or you could just like, you know, breeze, fast forward and read the chat or go read the comments. And sometimes you can learn answers to your questions. <clears throat> and I highly suggest Facebook groups over Instagram. Now it's not just because I'm older. It's because first of all, Facebook is kind of ruining Instagram. Facebook is kind of ruining Instagram with the ads. I don't know if you guys have noticed, like every third post is like an ad. So it's kind of annoying. Um, and in Facebook, it seems like there's more interaction, like people who really want to interact rather than just a bunch of people just posting like, look at me type stuff. I don't mean to sound rude, but you know what I mean? Like there's a lot more people um, that are just kind of like social climbing um, to build their Instagram account for whatever monetary reasons. And they don't always inter like interact. They just put stuff up. They want you to like and comment and they don't really interact back with you. So for that reason, I kind of prefer to go over to the Facebook groups where you can um, interact with people. Well, I think we will stop. Instagram is all look at me started off that way. Yeah. So you kind of like, I hope I'm not being rude. So you kind of know what I'm getting at, Tracy. Yeah. So I, I kind of went back. I still am on Instagram because some of my favorite people are on there, but I still kind of go back to Facebook groups and like there's negativity everywhere. Like we're getting trolls here. There's negativity everywhere. There's negativity when you walk out your door, like you just have to, you know, we just have to learn how to navigate through it. It's not that big of a deal. There could be negativity in your own house if a family member is having a bad day. Like really, there's ways to navigate. There's blocking, so you don't even have to see certain people if you don't want to. But I'm not going to throw out the baby with the bath. Like, I'm learning a lot from some of my favorite um, Facebook groups and meeting cool people. So, okay, we've been on long enough. We're not going to get a good Q&A now. So I will make a decision of what, like a constant day and time to do eBay Q&As for anybody who's wanting to answer some questions. Like I said, I'm going to do it a little different. We're going to actually, some, we're going to pick a few questions and we're going to actually go to YouTube and find it. Like, where we can look at it black and white, not an opinion type thing. We could answer opinion type things, but if somebody needs a hardcore, like black and white, you know, tutorial, we're going to go get the information and show it. And then, you know, they can bookmark it and so can other people. That's what I do. Every time I have to double check something on eBay, I go and bookmark it so I can find it again easy. I've probably got a whole bunch. All right, you guys, we're going to let the trolls go find something else to do. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'm going to eat and list a few things, and I will see you later or see you on one of your videos. Thanks, and have a great day. I appreciate you all so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>